like that kind of is where rock up comes from because it slowly builds into like I'm gonna murder you. Mum I'm gonna give her a rock up. Like mum cuts sick at me. Yes. What? No? Hello YouTube, my name is Candice Moll and welcome to the third edition of Australian vs New Zealand slang with my friend Morgzy. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't seen the first two videos in this series, then make sure you click on over to see those. But without further ado, here is the third and final edition of this video series. Can you handle the jandal? First of all, what's a jandal? I know this because of you. I literally say jandal all, all throughout summer. <clears throat> all the time. Jandals are... Um, flip flops. Flip flops. And what do you guys call them? We call them thongs. Weird. I'm not gonna hold no, that up. No, they don't wear underwear on their feet. No, it's, it's a, what they call flip flops. It's a it's a thong. thong? Jandal. Mm. Which ones sound weirder? Tell us in the comments. Definitely. <laughs> so can you handle the jandal? I don't know. It basically means. Wait, I'm gonna read what it's. Translation. Can you deal with the situation? Well, can you handle the jandal? Yeah, weird. I might start using that. Yeah, I think I might have used it in primary school. You know what I mean? Yeah. Which is uh, elementary? Yeah. Elementary? Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Can you handle the jandal, mate? Can you handle the jandal? <laughs> Pash. Oh, we use this too. Do you? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can explain it. It means to kiss. But it's like a real kiss. It means, it, it, like it really comes from to kiss passionately. Does it? Yeah. So, well, I've learned something. I can go now. Yeah. No, <laughs> no I don't want to go. <laughs> Please stay. <laughs> so, yeah, if, if, if you pash someone, it means that you're making out with them. Mm. It's not just a, a little kiss. It's a good kiss. Yeah, and I think you use it more when you're younger, right? Until you're sort of an adult and then you'd actually say kiss. Did you made pa out with. Did you pash him? Yeah, 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 yeah. High school. Oh, my God, did he pash you? <laughs> Tell me he pashed you. <laughs> yes. Correct, Amundo. Okay, a dairy. What's a dairy? A dairy is where the cows are. Mm, yes, but it's also the corner store. So I think it's like from old school times. What does it say here? It says, corner store selling day-to-day -day essentials including milk, newspapers, and dollar lolly bags. Okay, so this is interesting because what you call the dairy in that sense, yeah. we call a deli. Ah, but of course a deli is where you buy meat. Yes, and a dairy is where you'd get milk. Yeah, we would call that like the corner shop where you might buy some lollies or the yeah. newspaper. Yeah, and lollies is candy. In case you didn't know what that was. Yeah, we would say, oh, I'm just gonna go to the deli and get a dollar mixture. Get a dollar, which is dollar like a mixture. small bag of lollies, lollies that you get to choose, and they're like five cents each. I want one of those and two of those. It was the best. That's not what a dolly mixture is in Australia. Dollar mixture, no. Dolly mixtures are a type of lolly. No, no, dollar mixture, not dolly. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah, you, you take your dollar, but I'd like to get some lollies. I mean, I think it's only some dairies do it now. We called that, what did we call that? A pick and mix. Oh, yeah, yeah. And you'd go up to the dollar amount, and you'd be so sad when the store clerk was like, mmm, you've made your dollar already, and you're like, <laughs> I need more lollies. <laughs> we had a pick and mix at the movies. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah, the yeah, cinema. Yeah. Scroggin. We have scroggin. Oh, you do? Yeah, oh, it's a trailer I mix. I got her there, yep. Yeah. Yeah, like, but, uh, you, you go. Well, again, I did a lot of bushwalking. Yes. So we had to take scroggin for energy. So it would have your nuts and your chocolates and yeah. M&Ms and Yes, dried usually fruit. like some chocolate, some dried fruit and some nuts. Yeah. Yeah, and the chocolate's usually M&Ms or like chocolate chips, like little squares of chocolate. Mm, I like scroggin. Yeah. What's a swag? Or, or like a type of walk? Ah, uh, I don't know. It is. Yeah. But the, I think that's here, isn't it? Yeah. If someone, I was really confused when I got here in the US because someone said, oh yeah, like she's got, sw oh no, someone said it to me. Oh, she's got swag? Yeah. And it, like okay. an American lad said to me, oh yeah, you've got swag candy. And I'm like, swag? A swag is like a fold away bed. <laughs> Again, once a jolly swagman, oh. he carries his bed. Okay. Yeah. A single bed you can roll up a bit like a sleeping bag. Never heard of that one. Mm hmm So yeah, it's a type of like You might have a swag the bed. next day if you've slept in a swag. Oh. Sore. <laughs> lame. I'm so lame. Batch. What's a batch? 
a group? Oh no. A batch is like your holiday home. What does it say here? Holiday home. In the South Island, it's referred to as a crib, is it? A crib. No, I don't know about that, but maybe. You you don't refer to it as a crib? No, you call it's it a It's basically batch. a holiday home. It's like a smaller place near some water. So, usually. We call that a shack. Oh, okay. And it's funny because it doesn't, it doesn't seem to matter how fancy the house is. If it's near the beach or near a body of water yes. and it's a holiday home, <laughs> it's, called... it's called the shack. And so... So you got like a five million dollar place in Tahoe. Yep. And it's called a shack. Yeah. And I think, the, I think probably the reason is because a lot of these holiday homes that like middle class families would own started out as a shack. So it's right. like a thing to buy a, a, a piece of property on the cheap that needs to be fixed up. Over the years, invest money into it. Yeah. And then before you know it, you've got a home on like a beach front that's really beautiful yes. has increased significantly in price and value yeah now you have a million dollar home holiday home and it's still referred to as the shack yeah yeah that's and, and, so, and it's usually filled with like mismatched furniture because it's like oh you had one seat like this and like mm -hmm. you know yeah yeah stoked stoked means very happy yeah like chuffed oh that's also one of ours sorry that, that's chuffed. one of ours too oh look at that friends <laughs> We really are very, very similar. Yeah. As, as like the countries are very similar. Yeah. Like I'm stoked to be doing this video right now. I'm chuffed. <laughs> I use stoked all the time. Yeah. 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 I also use chuffed all the time too. Um. Did I say chanda? You haven't said chanda. <laughs> chanda. I know what chanda is. It means to vomit. Yeah. I think that we have that in Australia, but again. My mum uses it, so I don't know if it came like from my UK background. What about power chuck? Power chuck <laughs> means projectile vomit. <laughs> I was power chucking after that night. I got so wasted on the turps. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoyed that whole sentence. <laughs> Barbie. Oh yeah, not not the beautiful blonde toy. Now also coming in all ethnicities. Yes. It is barbecue. It's a barbecue. So what do you chuck on the barbie? Kebabs and sausages. And what's a sausage? Saucy. You call it a saucy? Yeah. Do you don't call it a snag? No. Wait, you don't put snags on the barbie? I don't think so. Maybe that's... I have never said that. Saucy. Can I have a saucy? I was sure that you would say snag. No. A snag is a sausage. Yeah. That's weird. We chuck snags on the barbie. <laughs> and I mean, maybe New Zealand to say that, but I've not heard that before. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Ah, I'm all out. Oh, oh, I've only got? got two left. Okay, what are they? Rock up. Nah. Don't My know. mum gave me such a rock up for scratching the car. Oh, you means get into trouble. Oh, yeah. Like, ah, like that kind of is where rock up comes from because it slowly builds into like, I'm gonna murder you oh. kind of thing yeah telling off is what it says here but to me rock up like means is like nuts like mum i'm gonna give her a rock up like mum cuts sick at me yes what no oh we would she say thought she was done your mum cut sick Never. Cut, yeah cutting sick means like going nuts what? <laughs> going cutting crazy sick? yeah mum cut sick at me about that oh well, i cried after my rock up <laughs> All right, last one. I feel like we spent yonks going over all the fun things. A very, very long time. <laughs> Forever. Yeah. But it was fun. It was really fun. That is all the ones I have. I mean, I had a lot more, but I had to cross some out because I was like, we'll be here for five years. I mean, it just means that we could do another one of yes. these videos. So Let us know if you want another one. Yeah. If you, if you, want, if you want me to bring Morgzy back for a round three of yes. Kiwi and Aussie funness yay please i like having you here yeah it's so much fun thanks You're a great mate yeah we both use mate we do mm -hmm. yeah it sounds more aussie but it's definitely both yeah mate yes thank you very much if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up leave us a comment tell us why you liked it say nice things in the comments <laughs>
<laughs> That's yeah. what happens when you put stuff out on the internet. Yeah. A lot of my comments just consist of people going, you're wrong. You know what my mum always says? What? If you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I like your mum. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.